It was a family trip for her 18th birthday, said Lisa Niskowiak. We were planning it ever since February and we enjoyed it up until that point. That point was when the sound of round after round met with realization that it was coming from a gun aimed into this crowd of thousands. We were just enjoying the music and then all of the sudden, we hear the pop 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 and people just started running and taking cover, Lisa said. The first shots that we heard were probably another 20 yards off to the right, said Don Locke. Commerce Township couple Dan and Lori got as close as they could to see their favorite act perform. When we saw Jason Aldean get removed from the stage, security came and took him back and people were yelling get down get down he said. We knew that's what we had to do as well. We were in the bleachers and we just dropped to the floor, Naskawiak said. My husband covered us up with his own body and when we thought it was safe we got up and just dropped to the floor again when we heard the shots again. They both described having 20 seconds in between a stream of bullets being fired from the 32nd story of the Mandalay Bay Hotel. When it stopped that was your opportunity to get up and go, Locke said. Dan and Lori followed the crowd but they were fenced in. We pushed the fence down and we were able to escape the concert venue and work our way back around. Every time they started shooting again people were just ducking behind cars, said Lori Stefanowski. Once they realized they were safe, they came to grips with being a part of the largest mass shooting in American history. We couldn't go to sleep after that wanted to get home, Naskawiak said. And now they're home and safe yet, still they also say they know how lucky they are.